Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bulb Metal Nerd coming at you uh, with another video. And in this one, uh, I'm going to be talking about a product that I've actually owned for a really, really long time. Uh, I'm going to be uh, talking about the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1. Uh, computer speakers and these things have been continuously on the market for a really long time. I'll do a little research and I'll put uh, a little blurb about when these things debuted and they are still on the market and I think they still cost around $150. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you know as far as how tall these things are they're about nine and a quarter inches tall or slightly uh, shorter than uh, Optimus and Megatron there. <laughs> Just had to include them. I thought it would be a, uh, you know, because these are really official units of measurement, uh, Optimus and Megatron. So let's get them out of the way here. All right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, these are, uh, the these were, I think, the first THX uh, certified, uh, you know, pure computer speakers or uh, multimedia speakers, whatever. They are 2.1 uh, set, obviously includes a subwoofer. I will be showing the subwoofer off, uh, but there will be some breaks and all that. I'll get the subwoofer, subwoofer up on the desk. So uh, just wanted to show the left and right uh, speakers. Now, um, probably due to age or something, this, you may not be able to tell on video, but this leans slightly more forward than this, than this channel. I guess the right channel leans slightly more forward than the left channel. Let's see if I can make a match here. Just bend it down a little bit. Now that's closer. It's a lot closer. But there's still a slight difference, and you can see it more if you, uh, you know, do that. You can see the, uh, this is slightly lower than that one. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, speakers individually. We'll start with the simpler speaker um that uh doesn't have what i what's called the control pod on it now i have had to make a change to these speakers since i got them uh the uh bottom uh sticky felt pads are not what came with it these little uh rubber feet were uh but some peeled off since i've had this thing for oh, probably close to 10 years now maybe a little, you know right around that that time I've had these probably around 10 years. I'll go ahead and move the camera in a little closer so you can see a little more detail -a on this stuff here. So uh, yeah the uh, <clears throat> the left channel is pretty simple it's literally just a speaker. Uh, I don't know how many ohms this is or anything like that I didn't read the tech spec Although, maybe I'll throw the tech specs in the video description in case you guys are super interested. I'll probably link to, to the site and all that. But anyway, that's the bottom. Oh, it's a plastic cabinet, by the way. This is plastic. Obviously, we have a metal base. And we have a permanently affixed speaker wire coming out the back. And let me show you the speaker wires are pretty long. I'm not sure exactly. I think they're maybe six feet or so. There's the end. There you go. And uh, the grill is removable. And what you see here, obviously, uh, this is a paper woofer. And uh, there's your tweeter. So it is obviously a two-way design. And for a computer speaker, it's pretty large. And fairly heavy. It weighs a fair bit. And there's that speaker. <clears throat> Here is the speaker with the control pod on it. And there's a little more to it than that, obviously. You take the grill off, it's identical. Uh, you have your, of course, two controls here. You have your volume, and you have your subwoofer control, and uh, that little dot there is a, uh, quote, recommended setting for it. That's where I usually leave it. Sometimes, though, if you want a little more juice, you can certainly turn it up. And we'll be getting to that when we get to the sound demo portion of this. Uh, there is your, uh, there's a headphone jack, and there's a line-in jack, which is a nice touch. And uh, as 
far as the cables on the uh, control pod portion and um oh they're all they're, they're caught around the camera tripod oh, and I knocked one of the speakers over I'm gonna pause real quick guys I'll leave that blooper in for amusement Actually, guys, after examining the cables on the um, control pod, I think I misspoke about their uh, the speaker wire's length. Uh, this is uh, one of the speakers coming out of the um, wires coming out of the control pod. Uh, this actually hooks into the subwoofer uh, to enable uh, the unit to work. This obviously is the uh, 3.5 millimeter in that plugs into your computer or DAC or whatever. And this is your headphone. I think these actually, these cables here, are each about eight feet, so they give you a lot of distance actually. And this is like nine or ten feet, so they actually give you a really ample amount of wire. And uh, yeah, it's basically identical. Let me go ahead and uh, see if I can grab the subwoofer now without causing anything else to fall. Let me just move a few things around here. Grab that subwoofer. Oi, 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 oi. And show you guys the tippy top. Obviously, it's a little bit taller than uh, the speaker. So let's go ahead and get the speaker down. And uh, I'm sure this is over 10 inches tall. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, the box of fort. Obviously, it's a side firing subwoofer, as there is, a, well, the uh, driver. Um, my subwoofer is actually still in pretty good shape. It does have a little bit of uh, stuff flaking off the cabinet there. I'm sure something got bumped into it at some point. There is obviously uh, the airport or base port or whatever you want to call it. And the other side is just plain black wood there. And the back, he gads. Okay, all right. You know, obviously there's your uh, speaker left and right terminals there. Uh, some exciting stuff about FCC warning. My peeling serial number. Uh, according to this, is 240 watts. It says it right there. Let's zoom in a little bit. I don't again I don't know the specs on this thing really I have no idea. Uh, there's obviously the input for the control and uh, that's it. I'm sure the power amplifier and everything is in here. Um, I'm not going to disassemble it to show this. I, I, I have no need to disassemble it so that's not going to happen. So anyway that gives you an idea of the components that this thing comes with. Um, very nice for a set of computer speakers. So obviously now I've got a lot of hooking to do and all that and yeah it's gonna be fun. <laughs> but uh, when I come back we'll do some sound demos and talk a bit more about the speakers. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, now we're gonna get into the sound samples of uh, the Klipsch Pro Media um, speakers and I want to apologize in advance guys for this not being particularly visually exciting. Uh, I, I basically placed the camera as well as I could in as good of a sweet spot as I could. The uh, microphones on the camera are actually uh, on level with the tweeters of the speakers. Uh, and I have it in the middle, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to see the speakers as we play the different tracks. But uh, you will get a, you know... <laughs> Uh, some some idea of what it sounds like at least compared to my stereo so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna jump through these uh, tracks and we're not gonna listen to an incredibly long portion on each one of these then we'll come back and compare this and I did my best to volume match between uh, the um, Klitsch Pro Media and my uh, stereo so we're gonna start off obviously we're gonna get, run through six tracks on each a few seconds on each one and uh, then we'll have some final thoughts so let's go ahead and get started.
track one. Here's track two. Track three. <laughs> the track four at this point. I think. I think we're down. Was that? Oh, it's track. This is going to be the final track here. There you have it. That's the Clips Pro Media. I didn't real honestly. I didn't listen to the tr test tracks. I calibrated volume with Enter Sandman, <laughs> and I didn't realize the test tracks would be so wildly different in volume. I knew they were different styles, but I didn't think it'd be that much volume difference. But it's kind of a good thing. Kind of let you guys hear how this uh, speaker set handles things of vastly different volumes without me adjusting the volume knob at all. So anyway, uh, that's it for this portion. Over to my stereo. Alright guys, so what are my final thoughts on this uh, speaker, and I guess more importantly, why did I leave out the sound demo uh, versus my main stereo? Well, uh, when I watched the sound demo that I recorded with my main stereo, the quality was extre extremely poor. Um, the main stereo overwhelmed uh, the microphone that was in my camcorder. Uh, it's just, it, it just doesn't sound good. <laughs> It sounded, uh, it was just too loud and it sounded tinny. It didn't sound remotely what my stereo actually sounds like. Uh, so I can just tell you subjectively, uh, the Klipsch Pro Media did not sound as good as my stereo, which is not surprising. I mean, you've got it, you can't expect it to. I mean, we're, we were dealing with, you know, like nine inch speakers versus floor standards, of course. The floor standards are going to sound better simply because of the physics of it. The floor standards move a lot more air than the, the, the clips do, so they are going, you know, generally the bigger speakers are, the not always, but, but most of the time, the bigger the speakers are, the better they sound. And my stereo, as far as detail and resolution and all that, stomps all over the Klipsch Pro Media. So, that being said... That being said, uh, the Clips Pro Media definitely hold their own. Uh, they sound really, really good. Uh, they sounded 
uh, incredibly great. Uh, I watched a movie uh, listening to those, and they sounded tremendous. Really well balanced throughout the movie. Uh, sounded absolutely awesome. Uh, they sounded awesome playing uh, video games. And uh, they sounded really good with music. If I didn't have anything else to compare the clips, me if I didn't, if I couldn't directly A B the clips with something else, I would think that they sounded great because they do sound really, really good with music. Um, my problem is I'm spoiled. I have you know my stereo to compare it to, and it just doesn't live up to that. But for computer speakers, uh, they sound absolutely amazing uh, for music. You got to keep in mind what the class of product is. Uh, the only other uh, thing that I really have to say about them is um, I tried hooking uh, my Audio Engine D1 to the line in on the um, Clips Pro Media's, and there was uh, electric. There was some electronic noise. I don't know why that was, so I wouldn't recommend pairing these with an Audio Engine D1. Uh, because there was some noise on the line, there was a lot more noise when I put it in the headphone jack of the audio engine than the, just the line out. Uh, but, you know, that being said, uh, the audio engine, uh, when I did plug it in, it did help improve the sound some. It did separate the instruments and all that a bit more in music. But again, I wouldn't recommend the pairing uh, because of the noise. If you want to hook a DAC up to it, you know, find a different DAC. <laughs> Don't use the audio engine with it. So anyway, uh, overall, I think it's a pretty decent value. Uh, you know, you probably, if you want to, you can definitely get better sound. But for the price point, I think it's definitely hits really well in the value department. It's really great for what it is. Uh, so uh, I know there's another version that has Bluetooth on it. And I've heard that, and that one's not THX certified. And I've heard people say that doesn't sound as good. I don't know. I've never heard it. So if you are in the market for one of these, make sure you get a THX certified one if you want the best sound. So anyway, that is pretty much it. As always, if you like this, thumbs up. If you hate me, thumbs down. Share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.